And this week's video, Termite gets a new stereo. What's up guys? Welcome to this week's video. Uh, we're gonna do something fun today. We, we've been doing like serious project, you know, things that need to be done and we're working on some, the AC lines right now. We're waiting on a few fittings to come in. So I was hoping that would be this week's video, but it's not, uh, but it's coming. We've, we've got everything figured. We're just waiting on some fittings. So in the meantime, we're gonna do a little fun project. We've got a new radio, stereo, head unit, whatever you wanna call it, for a termite right here. Um, the one that's in it, I hate, and I have hated it for all the years that we have had termite. It came, it, it was in it when we got it, and, 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 and it's not really bashing the head unit itself because really all of them you get are like this. They have the same feature, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But what we have here, we have the boss, and I'm going to read all of those letters and numbers and stuff there. But this has a touchscreen, a uh, seven inch touchscreen, and it is for like classic car stuff, like that have the smaller head unit style. Like, you know, most of your newer vehicles have like humongous radios and a lot of your screens that you buy aftermarket come like that as well. These are made for that smaller opening, but you still have the feature of the screen. So that was one of the awesome things about this one that it would fit. But really what I'm looking forward to and what my goal really is with this is simplicity. Um, as much of an old school guy as I am, there are some aspects of technology that I'm quite fond of. And one of them is the simplicity of Bluetooth and connection to your phone. And because I love music, all right? I love music. My Super B here is a completely as came from the factory, original restoration that I did. And the only thing that I did to this car that it didn't come with was put a radio in it. Now I used all factory parts, but I put a radio in it solely because I love music when I'm driving. That's, you can ask Andrew, it drives her crazy how particular I am about music when I'm driving. And so we want that for termite, but it's not just the music. It's the fact that this has Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, where we'll be able to hook our phone up to this and be able to have a screen for like Gaia, for example, or Onyx or whatever you're using, it'll put the map on here. So we'll have a big map view and we're not trying to look on our phone and, and keep up where we are, it'll be on a huge screen. So that's really, that was the real pro here was was us having that so this may be the perfect radio for wagon ears we're gonna find out we're gonna put it in but it also comes with a backup camera now i wasn't really looking for that but hey if it comes with it why not we may hook that up and and when we do get our camp trailer going we'll be able to watch and see make sure no nothing's falling off but anyway so, all right, well, let's get in there and start pulling out the old radio and we'll get this thing hooked up. Okay, guys, so here's what we have. It's a Sony. It's got Bluetooth and all this kind of stuff. As far as the way it plays and what it does, it does fine. There's no, like, issues with it. But the thing that I don't like, and we'll cut it on here and I can kind of show you. All right, so you see, and it's still in display mode because I haven't, uh, uh, changed anything or, or and i hadn't even set any presets it's just whatever was in their stock because we haven't been fooling with it so you'll see it flashing colors and whatever but let's say i'm on tuner now and let's say i want to go to bluetooth i got to go through cd usb auxiliary bluetooth audio then you've also got pandora you got bluetooth phone sirius xm and then back to tuner so changing from one, one source to the next, whatever I want to do. I got to go through that menu every single time. And if you miss one, you got to start all back over. And when you're driving these things, you don't have time to take your eyes off the road to be fooling with a stupid radio trying to find where you want it to be. So, you know, a lot of times I want to go to Bluetooth audio or to Pandora, to music. 
and trying to get it to do that. And then it also has a really hard time uh, connecting to our Bluetooth. And that's one thing I'm hoping this radio does better is this one has a really hard time connecting to our Bluetooth. The only concern that I'm having though before we put it in is the hope that because the radio sits in um, inside of that wood and the glove box in there, that the way it's designed, I hope that it's gonna clear out enough for the screen to, to, to clear and not also block our our glove box here and uh, hope that it will still be able to open. So I've already got the bevel removed around all these edges. Uh, I had that off for when I put the dash in and I haven't put it back on solely for this purpose. So I'm gonna get this radio pulled out and, um, and we'll get the boss unboxed. <laughs> I was really hoping they had used a quick harness, but I don't even know if they make quick harnesses for Wagoneers, but so we're gonna have to cut every single one of these and hardwire them back in, but it'll be all right. Ain't gonna be like the first time I've ever done one. All right, now we got the old radio out. Let's get this one in. Now, Boss, I've never, to me growing up, Boss was always kind of the pawn shop brand or Walmart brand stuff. And so I, I looked at this thing for a while, y'all, before I committed to buying it. Um, got our backup camera. Um, just because of the, my, my lack of familiarity with the brand of Boss. Um, I was looking at Alpine units and I've always been a fan of Alpine, uh, you know, growing up in my younger days when we put sound systems and everything. And, but everything that I could find had that same, you know, you gotta push and select multiple times. And that's what I was trying to get away from. Um, so this unit came in around $200, is about what you're looking at. And I know for a lot of people that's probably crazy expensive, but in compared to everything else out there, it's really not. Um, so we've got our screen here, but I watched, it also swivels. So you can see here, it's got a swivel where we can turn the screen. I watched a lot of videos, uh, them installing these and stuff like that, and everybody just raved about them. Like, very, very impressed with the quality and and um, and all that kind of stuff. So, kind of one of those things, you know, you look at reviews nowadays. You look on Amazon, you look at all the reviews, and this thing had good reviews. So this is gonna be the head unit itself. kind of weird so we've got this and then this it's gonna plug in like that. so I'm curious to see if there's enough space here to clear the wood and the glove box so you can see it swivels it's pretty neat so we'll see I think it's gonna be fine on the bottom I think it'd be fine all around. It's gonna be tied, but so anyway, you got these two buttons you press on the side, and it releases the screen. All right, guys, we're getting ready to do some wiring. So inside the manual gives you kind of your layout, what wires go where. The old radio, sometimes if you have a, an aftermarket radio, it will have it on a sticker on top or bottom. This one doesn't, but um. They did label uh, in the old radio. He had put, thankfully, a little tape kind of letting you know what each one is. But if you don't have any of that, you're just gonna have to uh, kind of figure it out. But um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do instead of just doing a straight connector, a butt connector, I'm probably gonna use these spades and have a quick connection just in case in the future say years down the road we want to change this up i don't have to just keep cutting cutting the factory harness back further and further and further um i can just unplug it put new spades on whatever it else we put in and plug it back up and just keep it simple and then i will wrap everything in heat shrink and um to, to seal it in and hold it so i like doing it that way a lot of times it just gives you the option if you did have to remove it you can without having to cut cut factory wiring up all the time so anyway 
Well, I'm just going to sit here and be crimping spades for a few minutes and then cutting wires and crimping spades in there. And so I'll time lapse you guys and uh, you can watch me do that in hyperspeed. guys well let's wire it in i know that's the hard way i get it that butt connectors would have just been 10 times easier than than hooking up a uh, male and female connector on each side and then he shrinking it I, I know but this is just the way i like to do it so that's why i did it. um i just always feel better leaving myself an out on something like this if i do have to change it later on down the road it will make it a lot easier but anyway so we are hooked up now the camera wire, uh, the reverse activator wire is here. I'm just going to drop that down because I still don't have my reverse lights working yet. I, I did run the pin, but uh, they didn't work. So I'm going to have to kind of check that out and see what's going on there. But this wire will just kind of stay down here for when that happens. Um, their instructions are not very clear as to what, uh, how to hook the camera up. Um, so I just kind of went with what I thought was right so you have here you have a rear camera power so i hooked that to the red wire of the uh jacks wire that they sent and then they have the reverse wire here that i'm assuming goes to your reverse switch so when your reverse lights come on it kicks the camera on you'll have the same thing back in the back and i know i got a mess down here on the floor but um I'm just trying to figure that's the way that I figure it hooks up up in here now so that when I put this in, I shouldn't have to pull any of this back out when I get ready to hook the camera up um, and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm not, you know, camera's a cool bonus and I am going to hook it up, but it's not like the main thing I wanted this far. So that will come down the road. But for right now, um, that's the way I got it hooked up. I think that's correct because... This wire had power to it when I turned it on, so I'm assuming that just powers the camera from the head unit so that if you want to check the camera, even without it being in reverse, you have power back there to be able to do so, I'm assuming. I don't, I don't know. But like I said, their instructions don't really show you anything. Um, it just shows you here, rear camera power, don't tell you, you know, anything. And then if you go over here to the, well, they don't show you anything. It just shows you what each one is, which are labeled. So I don't know why they would feel the need to do that. And the camera box it just shows you this guy. So not very clear on, as far as the reverse light goes off of the one plug, that's clear. But it's what you do up here, there's kind of a mystery. So that's the way I did it. If it's wrong, let me know in the comments. I'll go back and redo it. But for right now, I'm not too worried about it. All right, so to mount this thing, um, I'm not familiar with how the factory radio was. I'm not too familiar with the Wagoneer factory radios. Um, but I don't have, the, the hole here is way big for the sleeve to fit in like you would normally do. But they do give you these brackets and that's how the other radio was hooked up. It had this one on it um, that you can see has the tab in the front to hook to the mountain screws here and here. That won't fit on this, the holes don't line up, but they send you these that will have to kind of cut so that they'll fit into these recessed grooves here. So I'll get the cutting wheel and we'll cut these and then they will screw to the side like so in all the holes be able to mount it and that's kind of cool too because we can set our depth a little bit um and that will get it mounted 
All right, well, listen, guys, uh, you can see I cut, kind of trimmed the brackets up on both sides. I had to cut the corner off of this one um, here so it'll fit around that screw. But, you know, they went from this. I just cut this one, cut one in half, cut the top slits. And then there was also a bracket on the other radio that locked into a plastic deal under here. I'm assuming that might have been off the factory radio. I don't know, but it went right back on here and clicked. So it's, it's real sturdy in there. So, and we've got our charge port sticking out and our CarPlay. And we've got Andrea out here with her phone. And she's going to try the CarPlay. You got to wait on that. What are you doing? We didn't read the thing. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to check the radio first. Make sure. Let me do this first. So it's picking up. We're in the shop, so it's not going to get great reception in here. Is that speaker over there working? This one does. Make sure these two in the back. A Metallica for you. Okay, we'll mute that. We do not own rights to this music. <laughs> YouTube doesn't care. I don't care if we don't own it. We All right. Say that. So the radio aspect of it works now. CarPlay. And there's map. The satisfaction. Oh Routes. Oh, look at that. So, like, if we click on that one. That's oh. the little loop that we had done. Nice. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, okay. What'd you hit? That. Uh, let's see. You zoom out. Which one follows us? Probably that one. And that will follow, and the track's highlighted, so... Oh, there you go. Moves with your phone, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's making me dizzy. So, nonetheless. We could zoom out. Yeah. In that way. So, we got a bigger map. That's, that's really nice. What else we got? Everything. I don't like my playlist. But we can do it on here. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to do the phone. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Play it. But you don't have to. We can't play the music because we don't. Right, we don't own it. In our other vehicles, we have the little thing that you hook into your cigarette lighter yeah. that does like the. Picks up it? your Bluetooth. Yeah, it does a FM radio yeah. thing. That's nice that you don't have to do that. We don't yeah. have to do that. This has Bluetooth on it. All right. So, I mean, hands free, streaming music. Um, and it's charging my phone right now. Nice. So. It is charging. So I guess you can charge something else. You can charge a second thing, maybe. Another one. Nice. All right. I dig it. That's, that's nice. That's, that's really nice. Simple, too, because you can go, this is, instead of hitting a button multiple times, oh, yeah. and we don't have CDs anymore, so <laughs> our old CDs, are getting, which they're all scratched up anyway, but, you know, you just go straight to, and if you're, you know, if we're plugged up, which is pretty simple. Unplug it and see how hard it is to connect to Bluetooth. I don't know which one you would do. Do you do? Sh and I know we got a manual, y'all, but it's easier just to press buttons and figure it out than it is to read this. Boss audio. So it's playing the same thing it was. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I like it. That's nice. I'm wondering, like, if you had. And it says it sets the time automatically. Yeah, it does. As soon as you plug it up. Look at yeah. there. 
and Google Maps at the time. And so it's just like it was in the early 2000s and the 90s, guys. If you go into the store and you're in a questionable neighborhood, you just press these two buttons, pull that screen out. And you can carry that around in the store with you, just like you used to do your faceplate. <laughs> Just stick that in your pocket. <laughs> we used to think we were hot we stuff. Did. We would uh, yeah. we would go to the mall. You need a backpack for this one. And I'd have my face paint in my box, my pocket, man. I was bad to the bone. All right, I'm gonna put the bezel back on and call it good. All right, y'all. Well, there it is. All the bezel in. We uh, ended up running our microphone right here uh, to the. To the uh carplay hands-free whatever will we ever use that probably not but it's there and um it things pretty neat man uh if it wasn't such a risk of getting demonetized with the music we would show you but um it's really tight good quality piece um i think it's gonna be fine the reason why we did the the microphone and stuff is because it's when you're hooked up to carplay if you answer the phone, it tries to answer it through this, and it has to have yeah. a mic. So it was like, if, if you were using CarPlay, you'd have to unplug your phone while you're driving. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, this would be a lot easier just to be able to, hey, I'm driving, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Than trying to f find your phone in the midst of everything, so. Yeah, because it was trying to, like, create, like, a, it was yeah. trying to pick it up on there, and it was like an echoey yeah. thing. And so once you hook that up, and I went outside and called Andrew, and, I mean, I can hear her talking, so yeah. that just allows you to be able to, not have, like she said, have to unplug have and to everything. Try to grab your phone and deal with it and take it off Bluetooth or whatever to try to answer the phone yeah. if you have to answer the phone. Yeah. So, so. we'll see. We, we, like I said, that's not something we like, you know, we were mainly just wanting it for the map to be on here to follow mm -hmm. and. And we hated the other one. Yeah. Because it was the worst. I've already told them, told them all about it. It was just the worst. <laughs> but it looks good. It's not gaudy. Mm -mm. Um, I mean, it's got it's got a good swivel, so I mean, you know, relatively good. So um, fits in there clean, and this is the first time the bezels has been on with the gauges, so that all looks good. But um, so yeah, there it is, guys. It sounds okay. I mean, I guess music-wise, it sounded alright. We, we don't have a system in here or anything, yeah. so it's. Awesome. But hey, we may now we may put some twelves in the back and underglow and. Oh, let's go to the mall. Yeah. We'll go, I'm gonna go to the mall and park. But anyway, guys, Termite has a new state-of-the-art <laughs> head unit. And uh, this is going to be nice. And uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for this week's video. See you guys next week.